Hello, this is Chinoa with the Ghetto Fairy Tarot, and I will be doing a Libra Lunar Eclipse uh, reading for the collective. And I have pulled nine cards for the overall energies that we'll be working with. And we'll start with the first card. The first card represents what area of our lives are being affected. We have the Hanged Man. So I feel like... Um, the hangman always, to me, represents self-affliction, some sort of um, something that keeps you stuck by your own by your own doing, by your own cause. Because the hangman is never actually stuck; he can come down anytime. He can free himself, uh, but he's you know he's in denial that he can free himself. So I feel like what area in our lives are being most affected? Um, it's not only just, I feel like mental, um, mentally, emotionally, there's something that we're, we're keep, we're keeping ourselves bound with and more. So I feel like it's many, um, past issues that need to be healed and they're coming up for us to face those things and release them. But instead we're looking at them and they're keeping us bound and stuck because we're doing a lot of self um, crucifixion because he looks like he's being crucified. If you look closely, his nail hands are nailed down and he's doing this by his own will. I feel like he's putting this upon himself. So what area in our lives are being most affected? Um, we're doing it by ourselves. So whatever we feel we're being affected by, it's by our own doing, but it's coming up to the surface to show us that we need to release that and heal. And card two is what currently is being closed in our life. Um, the sun card comes up. What's currently being closed, I feel like it's pertaining to the previous card, the hangman. The sun card is like God energy, blessings, from God or the universe, positive energy, new beginnings, illumination. So I feel like um, we've closed that chapter. Once we heal those things and we free ourselves and we change our perspective with positive thinking and being optimistic about life and embracing what is new, we will, um, we will experience this energy. We're being supported by the universe. There's, abundance for everyone you see the rainbows which represent blessings they're like coming like around they're like wind embracing us so that's for that is here for us to accept and then third card would be what maybe in the shadows are hiding from us and we have the three of cups abundance so what we can't see is our abundance um it's Three of Cups represent a time of celebration, um, good news, family, those types of good feelings. So emotionally, we are, um, our cup is always full. And I always say, um, or when the full moon comes, I do pray to the moon and I put my hands together in the form of a cup. And I always say to the universe, my cup is always full. And that's like my way of accepting my blessings or my gifts from the universe. So you might want to try that, but it's saying what's in the shadows is you do have this abundance. It is there for you. Your cup is always full and fruitful. Card four would be what is keeping us from embracing the light? And we have the star card. What's, in, what's keeping us from embracing the light is we don't believe that our dreams are obtainable. We believe that they're far off. They're far-fetched. We can't reach them. No matter how hard we try, they're like a star in the distance. We can't reach, we can't touch. And that's the, actually the opposite message of the star card. The star card is the ultimate wish fulfilled card. It does denote wishes being filled. Um, so that's, it's, again, spirit is saying by your own affliction, you're doing this, but your wishes are obtainable and they are available to you. Card five would be, how can we accept the shadows and move past them? We have the Prince of Cups, which denote um, the element of water, which is emotions, a spirit, and healing. So I feel like you need to take a look at those things that are afflicting you, those old patterns that come up. They're only there to show you 
um, what you would not like in your life and there so you can finally resolve them and uh, move past them. So that's what you would need to do. You need to look at what's afflicting you, take it for what it is, and release it and clear it. And then for um, six, who or what should we leave behind at the end of the eclipse? And we have Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords always, to me, represents cutting B BS, cutting cords, um, protection. So Archangel Michael, I always think of Archangel Michael. He helps with cutting cords, and he is um, the protector. So you need to cut cords with those things and people that no longer serve you. And because this is a sword card, which represents the element of air, our mental state, um, intellect, you need to trust your intellect and you know what's good for you and who is good for you and who is not, um, or what is not good for you, and you need to cut cords with that. That's what you need to leave behind. In, in your intellect, you know what you need to leave behind. Card seven, what in, what in our life is expanding and growing? We have adjustment which is the Justice card in traditional tarot. And ironically, because this is the Libra um, full moon lunar eclipse, Libra is all about balance and karma, uh, weighing the scales. The universe is weighing the scales. So what's expanding and growing is um, expanding. I feel like it's showing you something. It, you will see the manifestation of your karma, whether it was good karma or bad karma. You will see things way out. And you will also see others' um, scales being weighed. You will see that. This lunar eclipse is weighing those things out. Card number eight, we have what messages do the moon have for us after the eclipse? We have ten of wands oppression. So the moon is telling you not to give up. Um, you may feel a lot of um, oppression, like your your efforts are not are not being seen, or they never reach its destination, or something like that. But wands are God energy, um, and these two pillars here remind me of spirit. It's like um, you have divine support, and it is a con ten is a completion. It's the end of a cycle of something for a new beginning. So this oppression, this hard work that you feel like you've been putting in, it's coming to an end. The spirit has been supporting you and guiding you along. So don't give up just yet. Don't give up. And then final card, what energies are going to emerge as a result of the lunar eclipse? We have four of cups. So again, there, the universe is explaining to you that your cup is always full and will always be full. And you are um, being brought into balance and stability is coming for you emotionally in all areas of your life. The cups are connected. So all areas of your life are connected to the four of cups. You will have emotional stability and you will see um, the fruitfulness of your labor, I feel. And you will be celebrating this is the collective energy. So it's all around. It will be good for not only you, but those around you will experience this energy. So with that, it's a lunar eclipse message. I hope that this was helpful to, to someone out there. And I will see you on my next video. Thank you for tuning in.